Hey, how you doing? This is Roger Grimes. And this is Greg. And today we're going to do a little bit of sparring drill and then we go into sparring. Earlier I had Greg do some exercises and drills. I let him cool down a little bit. Hopefully he's not too cold. I'm stiff like an old man right now, <laughs> so it'll be good. But we're going to do a drill with a technique called the meltdown. You guys may have seen the video before. Do your guard up, Greg. So we're going to do it from an open stance like this. We're going to step off the side, punch, punch, kick. Now you can use the ball of your foot, but then you risk breaking your toe if you don't have control of your foot or the top of the foot. The way Greg was, he wasn't open for that, was he? No, it was not. If I can get my kick to your head, it's okay, but then the, here you risk hitting him in the face, which is fine. Especially if you're in a black belt tournament, but a lot of some of the tournaments don't let you hit to the face, the point fighting at all. It's great for other things, but if you're in point fighting, that's what Greg wants to do. He wants to get into point fighting, so we're teaching him a little bit of sparring. So don't judge Greg about stuff. Encourage him. If you see any videos of him doing stuff, encourage him. Say, yeah, that, you can better. You know, or if you see something like, yeah, you know. Maybe you need to work that leg a little more, the right leg or the left leg, wherever it is. But we decided to film a lot of his training, just not because we want to have content on here, but also to encourage those to decide to want to do this stuff at a later age. Oh, well, you're getting old. Four, 57. 57, and he wants to get into banging it up. So I'm insane. <laughs> That's why I want to use this too is a platform of encouragement. And I'm 48, so it's not like we're young anymore, but we're still young enough. And you're in good shape for your age too. Thank you. You you know, a lot of guys that are 35 don't, can't do what you do moving around because they just got this big old gut, bad back, bad legs, bad head, you know, <laughs> everything's messed up. But yeah. You took care of yourself and you can still do this stuff. But you have to be more careful when we do this stuff. All right, so let's do this here. Make sure you step out, punch me in the side of the head. That's it. Okay, so now we could sit there and take it or we could just try to, you know, do that a little bit. But then you can also say, I'm not going to let him hit me with this. All right, so I'm going to turn I'm going to come at you now. Ready? All right, here we go. You all right? Yep. Took the shin to the elbow. Sorry. I'm good. My elbow's fine. Your shin is the one that's so good. It. All right, here we go. Here we go. That was sloppy. Ah, sloppy. I told you I'm stiff. All right, here we go. Come on, we got it. <laughs> Try that again. Try that again. All right. Step around and make sure you're in range. See, I'm, I'm not just stepping. I'm going to step and change the angle. Punch, punch, and there's a boot to the face if I decided to want to get that up there. You know, it's a really cool technique. That's it. All right, here we go. And I almost dropped my hand all the way down. That's a bad habit that I started to get into. I tell you guys not to drop a hand, but I start dropping it, leaving my head open. So that's what I like about doing videos on YouTube. It, I go, oh, I'm messing that up again. So remember, I pretty much retired from doing this stuff. You know, actually fighting. So, all right, here we go. You're going to bring me back up. One, two, three. That's it. That hip's still a little messed up from doing the Bill Wallace seminar. That one didn't feel great. I'm getting there, though. It's getting a little better. That's it. Good, switch sides. Try this side now. Come around it. That's it. Here we go. Oh, that's so sloppy. All right, come on. That's it. Come on. It is a great move. It's a great move. It is a great move. There's so much going on in your life. Uh, it works better when someone doesn't know it's coming. Yeah. But when we know it's coming, coming and I still try to block it, it's coming up here. And plus, if you really limbered up enough, and you can start pop, pop, dude, that leg can pop up there, take a header off. 
Well, I know you're teaching in class. We, we're here, but then we're coming inward, right? So we're yeah. getting to the side of you, then coming yeah. in. So, like, guard up here. I have to come around this guard, leave it this open, head. and then see. The hardest part for me right now is my kicking right now because that hip is kind of weakened now. I overdid the stretching and plus doing all those hours of kicking, it just messed it up. All right, go. I got my hands. So I'm here, see I could be around like this. One, two, three. Wow. I moved around, I started playing around. You didn't know when I was doing it. That opened that red wide open, didn't it? It did. That's, That's why I, did, I had to play around just to get that in there. And I'm hitting with the ball on my foot, aren't I? Thank goodness. Did you feel that? <laughs> I felt it, yeah. Yeah, that's worse because there's no pad in there. I had, thank okay. goodness. Uh, <laughs> thank goodness it's not hitting you hard. There's no padding on the bottom. All right, go ahead. Good. All right, we're going to pause for a moment, and then we're going to go to just some sparring. Okay, now we're back. So what we're going to do is hands only, just a little bit of sparring that way. Just like the last video we did, hands only, kicking only, both. But then remember we did one was going to be the one coming in a little more, other one laid back and then reverse the roll. Okay. So we can stick with that training today. But here's what I was just telling Greg off camera. Like your guard up. As we were doing this move, one, two, hit. It was hurting my hip right now because I'm like I said, the hip was a little off, but I could still throw the kick pretty good if I had a better setup. It's just standing like this, making this happen, and you're just standing there. That's like kind of making it happen. So I might not be in the best kicking position for that too. All right, so now think about it here. If I step here, a lot of times guys will do that. By then I already hit you with the hands, and then you turn. So try that. If I step, wait for it, wait for it. So now you're more open for me to kick. I didn't talk about that earlier because I wasn't thinking about it. I was just trying to do the drill. But so that's the nice thing about actual live moving. You can see it. And if they're not in the position, don't kick. Plain as that. All right, here we go. Hands only. Play. See, I'm lunging again. That distance. Close it in. Close it in. Yeah, there you go. You got that. Loosen up for a moment. You start to square up a lot. I know it's closing in. But you're going like here, and that's making it slower for you to punch. Okay. Bring your hands this forward. This forward. Like this, and turn it like here. So you, you're you popping from here. If you're like this, it, okay. it's not a good punching position. Here, all you have to do is extend your arm. Okay. All right, hold your hands here. All right, go. Yeah, nice punch. They didn't catch that. I think it was out of the angle of the camera. You see how that snakes right in there too? <laughs> I need to see That's the nice thing about this. I set up, I come over top to him, bam! There you are, trying to dodge my punches. You didn't realize the kick was coming right up to your face. <laughs> bam! The one kid got his nose broke worse than anybody I've ever seen in my dojo. He's the one guy's going here, and he ducked into it, broke his nose, man. And he goes, and they came, he was like, hey, does anyone have a camera? There's blood all over the dojo. The big puddle, and he's like this, and he goes, looks in the mirror when he got to the bathroom, he goes, anyone got a camera? So I got a photo of that. Oh, man. Somewhere, I had to find it. All right, here we go. Play, play. Ooh. Come on, Greg. Come on. Hit me, man. Hit me. Hit me. Almost. There you go. Move it around. Yeah, 
Here we go, come on. Uh, all right. Kicking only. Here we go. That face could have been. What was the kick? What was it? It's a hook kick. That's one that I want to see. It's a Bill Wallace stuff where you don't see it. He throws three basic kicks. Can you show a that? A side kick, a hook kick, and a roundhouse. Just in a city. So here's what Bill Wallace had you stand sideways. He has a step like this to close the distance, depending on how far you're going. But it makes everything look the same. See, so then I bring foot in. Now it could be roundhouse. Side, hook, stay there. Oh, roundhouse, side, side, <laughs> hook, all from the same. Are your feet, because I was watching, your, are your, is your back foot doing the same thing each time? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you don't know what is coming, no. what direction. So when we do kick and rolling, I like to try to adopt. Bill Wallace theory because it works well. Alright, ready? Here we go. Oh, yeah, that's not so tough to defend. I think I'm a better kicker than a puncher. Yeah, you're, you're capable. <laughs> Because it's the timing of my kicks a lot of times when I really get into the zone. <laughs> Bill doesn't do that too much. <laughs> I'm not, that's not even prepared for that. All right, come on. That was a straight kick, right? What's that? That was a straight yeah. kick. All right, just start kicking at me. Come on. This is where you need more work on, is your kicks. Throw balls, switch legs too sometimes. Or just bring from the back leg. Come on. See the distance is so far away. Yeah. Watch this. See where I'm at? Do you see? Like you got up. This is why I talk about black and vision. You see, I'm up in close here. You don't really notice that leg coming up. So from here. Okay, watch this. Ready? Okay, you ready? Toe to toe. Look, my toes are on your toes. So if I'm here. That's a whole nother that's a whole nother level. <laughs> that's another lesson. Alright, here we go. Come on. He kicked my butt, guys. That's not that's not a good uh, uh, point. It's still a butt kicking, though. See, it's harder to kick from back here. Here's where it's going to be easier. See that? No, we'll back here. That means I have to adjust here. Remember, I talk about height zone. I want to stay the same height zone for the most part. I still stay the same height zone if I'm kicking here. If I'm kicking here, watch my height. Look at me, watch. I'm rocking away, watch this. A lot more control. But if I'm back here, see I have to rock back. As I'm rocking back, that allows you to charge in and jam me. Is it good on that? That's good. Right, yeah, I'm, 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 try I'm always in a defense mode with you, so that's... Yeah, you know, I just I'm expecting to get a kick, and I'm yeah. not being more proactive. Yeah, well, that's what you against me. <laughs> We're gonna take a brief moment from the video. I just want to say, if you didn't pick up my book, Lessons from the Cage Yet, what are you waiting for? You can get it in paperback, or you can get an ebook. Where can you get this?
That is a wonderful question. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it on Kindle. You can get it on the Apple Books. You can even buy it in Barnes & Noble. I've even seen it on the Target app and the Walmart app. But check it out. Just Google it if you don't know. Lessons from the Cage. Life Lessons from MMA. Roger Grimes. Now back to the program. So level play, little head, um, up more on you from kicking standpoint instead of yeah. lunging back. Okay. So if I start standing up, then go forward. That's going to be another thing. All right, we're going to do everything now, hands, feet. But as we were just jumping into conversation as the camera came back on, I'm probably going to leave that in and not edit that. But what he's talking about, level head, that means keeping your height zone. So get in a fight stance, Greg. So if I'm here and I start to rise to go forward, that's being a tell. He can see what I'm about to do. As I'm calling up, Greg, hey, I'm getting up to come at you right now. But if I stay the same height zone, I can just go forward. It doesn't waste time either. If you didn't pick up the tell, you didn't answer the phone when I was calling you, telling you I'm coming at you with this. You didn't answer the phone, I still come at you. But I'm losing speed and power. Because I'm coming up and I have to read the right. That's trying too hard. So if I'm here, that's why, that's why I like doing kind of a you know, short one. Boom. Stay in the same height zone, shifting, looking, being aware of where you are. That's why I like kata. A lot of people think kata is a waste of time. I don't think it's a waste of time. I don't think sparring is a waste of time. I love the martial arts and it's whole. Well, and I'm a novice, and, yeah. but you don't tell, I, I don't have any, you don't tell me anything. I yeah. can't, there's nothing that you're giving me you to put, give me an advantage. You put other guys out though that are really good fighters, they'll see tells out of me. Uh, David might see a little tell because he's got more experience than the average pair, you know. But if I go into some of the tournaments, the guys are like phenomenal. I mean, I have a pretty good record, but I don't scratch the surface of being of the greats. There's a lot of guys much better than me, but that's where I compiled this, you know, this uh, championship fighting system with is a bunch of the stuff I've learned from other people, plus stuff that worked for me. Because my hopes is that if I teach you some of the stuff, you could tailor it to what's going to work for you. What worked for me is probably not going to work for you. And if it does, it does. Cool. But that's why we teach the whole system. All right, here we go. Spark fight. <laughs> Loosen up a little bit. See, so you're already in motion. You're already loose a little bit. And you can't tell I'm going to strike as much. But if you're stiff like this, your you body, you, you do a twitch sometimes, you know, just to get moving. Already stay in motion. Keep your hands kind of floating. If you're not doing this, get your hands floating, get your legs loose. See what I'm talking about? That's how you take away a lot of the tells. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Wait. Loosen up, loosen up. Ooh, ooh, drop your chin. Your chin's going up. That's going to ask for a knockout. Oh, oh. I almost fell back and got stuck because I was trying to, I was trying to pull that kick and not take your head off. And I came up. I was like, oh, my head got it. <laughs> I was trying to pull it and I got stuck in your shoulder almost. Usually I would just blast that thing in and out or all the way through. I got stuck up there just. You're taking it easy. <laughs> Playing around, I almost bit it. You would have punched me in the head. Punch me. Oh, he kicked me in that ding wing dog. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. But it was like slap. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> All right, come on, Ernie. Oh, my hands did this, but you. it worked out for me that you didn't notice that. That's a blur. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ja, 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 cool. oh, I got it. Right? Yeah. Good? 
took a hill on the river, right? He did. Here we go, here we go. It hit your shoulder instead of your head. You all right? Yeah. That's the drill we were doing earlier. Dang, that was good. All right, here we go. Come on. There we go. Come on, I was giving you an opening. Right, Take it. Don't wait for all night. All day. There we go. Come on. I'm giving you openings now. I want you to see it and take it. You're missing a great opportunity for some ribs. Do you like ribs? I do. Well, come get some. Other hand. Reverse punch. Right there. Come get them ribs. If I'm up in here, <laughs> oh, that's one of the bad things about fighting like this. You have to okay. be pretty good to be able to. Once we get close, I'm not like this. But if I'm like this, coming at me. See, now I can, I can measure it, throw a kick. But when you get close, I'm not out here like this. I want these ribs up, protected. But I'm leaving it open for you. I want you to see this. All right, here we go. See, if I my slow kick, I timed you out. You went like this. You pulled your arm away and it kicked you. As I chamber it up, and then you went, then you realized that the kick wasn't there and you moved your arm on. Is that just instinct? Is that. <laughs> it's poor fighting. Fantastic. All right, we're gonna call that for now because we got another video we're gonna make on something else. So, Greg wants to learn a lot of what I have. Actually, he wants to learn everything, but that's gonna take forever. But he wants to learn some of the jiu-jitsu stuff and ground fighting and all that good jazz. So that'll be the next video where we're kind of working on that. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it. Subscribe. God bless you.